Hey guys, welcome to this video on word problems. The hardest thing about doing word problems is the part where you need to take the English words and translate them into mathematics. Usually, once you get the math equation, you're fine. The actual math involved is often fairly simple, but figuring out the actual equation can seem nearly impossible. What I'm gonna talk about in this video is a list of hints and helps. Be advised, however, to really learn how to do word problems, you will need to practice, practice, practice. The first step to effectively translating and solving word problems is to read the problem entirely. Don't try solving anything when you've only read half a sentence. Try first to get a feel for the whole problem, then see what information you have and figure out what you still need. The second step is to work in an orderly fashion. Figure out what you need but don't have and begin to name things. Always pick variables to stand for the unknowns, clearly labeling the variables with exactly what they stand for. Draw and label pictures neatly. Explain your reasoning as you go along and make sure you know just exactly what the problem is asking for. Working clearly will help you to think clearly and figuring out what you will need will help you to translate your final answer back into English. It can be really frustrating and kind of embarrassing to spend 15 minutes solving a word problem on a test only to realize that at the end, you no longer have any idea what X stands for. So you have to do the whole problem over again. The third step is to look for keywords. Certain words indicate certain mathematical operations. Here's a list of words to be aware of when dealing with addition. Increase by, more than, combined, together, total of, sum, plus, added to, and comparatives like greater than. Here's a list of terms to look out for when dealing with subtraction. Decrease by, minus, less, difference between or difference of, less than, fewer than, left, left over, after, or maybe even save, which is an old fashioned term, and comparatives like smaller than. Here are terms to be aware of when dealing with multiplication. Of, times, multiplied by, product of, increased or decreased by a factor of, and this can involve both addition or subtraction and multiplication. Twice, triple, etc., and the word each. For example, they got three each. Next are terms to be aware of when dealing with division. Per, a, out of, ratio of, quotient of, percent divided by 100, equal pieces, split, and average. Now lastly, here are terms to be aware of when dealing with things that are equal. Is, are, was, were, will be, gives, yields, sold for, and cost. As you work through word problems, be aware of these words and use them to help you identify what type of math is taking place. I hope that this video is helpful. And for further help, be sure to subscribe to our channel by clicking below. See you guys next time.